to my channel today we are still continue with chapter 8 rotational of rigid body in this video we are going to define and use the torque torque is a vector or a cross product between the distance of the force from the rotational exit with the acting force so we can write it as torque equals to vector r times vector f or we can write it as r f sine theta where the angle is between force and also radius so in other words, torque is a tendency of the force to rotate an object about same exit. So for example, let's say this is the private point. This is a rotational exit. Okay, so from this rotational exit, R is the radius okay, from the rotational exit to the point where the force acting. Okay, so this is R and this is your F. So the angle between R and also F here is the theta. Okay. So it is a vector quantities meaning that we need to consider the directions and the unit for torque is newton meter. The, the directions of the torque is parallel to the axis of rotation. So this way you must uh, remember the sign conventions of torque. If the sign convention usually for positive, meaning that its turning tendency of the force is in anti-clockwise, that meaning it turn in this direction. If the value that we get is in negative, the turning tendency of the force is in clockwise, so meaning it's turned in this direction. Okay, so let us look at exercise 3. Exercise 3. Figure above shows the weightless rod AB of the length from meter and they give you the force acting on the rod at point B is 13 Newton. So A, calculate the total torque at point A. So if let's say this is the, the pivot point, Okay, so the radius, of course, we must refer back to this point where the radius here is 4 meter and the force is acting at point B is acting upward. Okay, uh, so the angle between the radius and the force is actually 90 degree. Okay, so we can substitute to find the torque at point A is equal to RF sine theta. Where R is 4 meter, F is 30 newton. The angle between the radius and the force is 90 degree. So therefore, we will get 120 newton meter. B, calculate the total torque at point B. Okay, so if let's say we are referring to point B here, okay, point B, the radius is equal to zero. Okay, even though we have force, but torque at the end also, you will get zero. So torque at point B is equal to RF sine theta, where the radius at point B is equal to zero. So force is equal to 30 Okay, sine theta. So anyhow, also you will get torque equals to zero newton meter because the radius is equal to zero. Question number two. Figure shows three meter rod being ejected by the force 40 newton. Calculate the total torque at point A. So this is the point that we are going to take as a private point where the radius from this point to the force acting point is three meter and the force is acting upward. Okay, so torque at point A is equal to R times force sine theta. R is the radius from the point A is 3 meter. Force is 40 newton. The angle between the radius and the force is equal to 20 degree. Okay, because here 20, so it is equal to 20 degree. Therefore, torque at point A is equal to 41.04 newton meter. Question number 3. Figure shows 8 meter rod is being ejected by 50 newton force. Calculate the torque at point A. So at point A here, okay, the radius at point A to the acting point is equal to, actually is equal to 6 meter only because here already 2 meter. Okay, and then the force acting is going upward. So the angle between the radius and the force is actually 90 plus 30. Okay, so top equals to fr sine theta, where r is equal to 6 meter, force is 50 newton. The angle between the force and the radian 
is equal to 120 degree. Finally, answer for torque is equal to 259.81 Newton meter. Okay, so that's all for today. We will continue with the next topic, equilibrium of the rigid body. Bye!